guys, well, it's Friday morning and we are just leaving the house, getting into the truck. I'm wearing my I Love Sleep pajamas to the hospital. They said to go comfy. I'm comfy. I got up and showered because I had to wash my body in this special hibiscus um, antibacterial I don't know, some sort of special body wash so you don't get an infection. <coughs> so I did that. And because I don't want to wake up with completely frizzy hair, I decided to curl my hair. That's right. She spent the whole morning on her hair for surgery. Doesn't it look pretty? So tomorrow morning when I start filming, or this afternoon when I get out of surgery, my hair won't be one big frizz ball. Yes, it will. Excuse me. You know it will. Excuse me. Yeah, right. In surgery, your hair's gonna just be a big old mess. Come on, humor me. <clears throat> you're, you're beautiful, dear. That's humoring me? Oh, oh. Telling me I'm beautiful? I that's not a humor. That's not humor. That should be a given. All right. We have, watch your phone because oh. it's about to slide off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's going to be a throwdown fight right now. I can't He wait. doesn't think I'm beautiful. I can't wait until she's eating again. He doesn't think I'm beautiful. Didn't I just I say you were? Because I said humor me. Humor me means tell me a joke. <laughs> tell me something that's not true. You're a crazy one. Oh, well guys, I will see you guys at the hospital because right about now, I'm going to kill my driver. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, so here we are pulling up at the hospital. We're going to go in the same way, go in through emergency and go to the, the same information desk. I don't like think it's a good idea to... There's a handicap right up there. Park there because it's an emergency. I don't see why not. Come on, lady. Get out of my way. <clears throat> so here we are at the hospital. We got here early, but that's okay because the doctor called us and said they're running ahead of schedule. And uh, we were here on our way already, so we're here early. Let's see if we can get in earlier and get out and start walking. You ready for this, babe? I'm ready. I just get to sit around. And Here. film me, make fun of me. Oh, yeah, well, that's the fun part. <laughs> I don't need no stinking food. I've come this far, I ain't gonna mess it up now. We're First almost we there. Right by the cafeteria. Oh. Yeah, the surgery center right past the cafeteria. Yeah, thanks guys. Are you ready for this? I'm ready guys. Let's do this. The doctor was just here and talked to me and we're ready to go. Um, they did want to put a scopolamine patch on my behind my ear and I did ask them not to do that mainly because that's what caused a major issue with my dad and me being very, very sensitive to medications. I'm kind of weary about that. Mm -hmm. What happened with my dad was we could not wake him up, and when we did wake him up, he was completely disoriented. He did not know where he was, um, did not know what was going on or anything. Um, well, I had the so. patch once before, too, and it knocked me out for a day. So yeah. That's just kind of what it does. So, it kind of scared me a little bit, just the thought of having that. So, I decided I didn't want to do the scopolamine patch. So, we'll see how the nausea is afterwards. Um, but I'm ready to go, and I'm the next patient. So, yay! See, and see, aren't you glad you uh, curled your hair and everything? So, we knew it was going to go into a groovy hat anyway. Hey, it's you have to put that good, back on. It? Still looks good, doesn't it? Crazy woman.
Still looks good. Yes, you look like the lunch lady right now. So you're being a difficult patient. I'm not being a difficult patient. I am just a difficult patient. You're just difficult. Yeah, I can't have the scopolamine patch, so they have to figure something else out for the nausea. I can't have amoxicillin, so they have to figure else out something for the the uh, antibiotics. <laughs> but it, it's all gonna work. It's all gonna work. They already talked. I already talked to the anesthesiologist, and we're just waiting to go. She's getting my meds ready, and we're on the way. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! 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 When you see me, you'll see less of me. <laughs> Okay, everybody, it's a quarter to three. Val is out of surgery. She did fine. She did great. Uh, they did find a lot of scar tissue. A lot, a lot of scar tissue. Enough scar tissue that it was actually um, uh, impacting her um, bowels. So she was having issues getting food through her bowels because of the restrictions from scar tissue. Could be a lot of the reason why she's have been having the issues she's have having. I just went and had some lunch. They told me that she was gonna go, she was gonna be in recovery for a while. So I uh, took the opportunity to go get myself some food and I am rushing back right now. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm still kind of groggy. Yeah. Groggy, groggy, groggy. Um, I don't know what they gave me as far as drugs during the surgery. But I remember. Starting to count backwards. <laughs> so. Don't laugh at me. No, me laughing at you when I do that. Bite me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, I'm done with my surgery. Took a little bit longer than they expected. They did not have to take my gallbladder, and they did not have to use a J tube for feeding. But the reason it took a little bit longer was because he did clean up some of the adhesions that were in there. He said there's a lot of adhesions in there and that um, I would it would require another surgery to remove the rest of them. So we'll see what happens, if I'm going to go through with that or if I can live with the ones that I have. Um, I can't have anything to eat or drink until tomorrow. I'm dying of thirst, I'm dying of thirst, especially since they had to incubate me, which is putting the tube down my throat, and um, I can't have anything to eat or drink, and I just would love some ice cubes to suck on. Um, so that's it. I am sitting here with Kevin, and I keep falling asleep on him, like mid-sentence I would fall asleep. So, he's going to be taking off for the night, and uh, I'm just going to probably leave the TV on and doze on and off, and uh, that's about it. So, if you guys like this video, give us a great big thumbs up. If you haven't already, press that little red subscribe button and follow along with us, and Share this video with your family and friends because, hey, they may want to watch my journey too. Bye. Bye.